what a tough workout today. The grind to get through this workout was crazy. So many reps, so many sets. I just, it was a mental struggle to get through this set. Firstly, I want to bring up some big news about Donald Trump, who got shot at during a rally. What a crazy sight to see that. Lucky it only hit his ear, but other than that, he's doing well, I believe. Anyway, compared to that, how exciting is a workout? I don't know. Seeing a video like that kind of puts in perspective of how fast your life could change at any given moment. That goes for the gym community as well. At any moment, you could injure yourself, a freak accident, a known injury, anything could happen, someone else injuring you in the gym. Now, it may not be as serious as a gunshot, but you can still get seriously injured or die. There has been plenty of cases of people dying in the gym from their own stupidity and from others. Let's look at uh, John McBean. You know, he, lucky he didn't have too serious of injuries, but you know that could have been a lot worse. Let's say if it landed on his neck, that would have instantly killed him. It has happened before, even in competitions. The bar lands on someone's neck and they die straight away. Nothing anyone can do about that. You know, that's how fast things can change in life. Now, I think that's all I want to say about this whole crazy life change and stuff, especially about injuries and stuff. I think that's all that needs to be said. Let's go back into my gym routine here. So, obviously, I'm on week two of my road to 150 kg squat. So, today's session was 5 times 5 with 105 kg. So, that's two more sets than last week. Obviously, last week's mistake set of 110 probably made me feel a lot more sore for the session. But, I got through the session, you know, it was a bit of a grind. I feel like I need to really work my ankle mobility right now. At the very bottom of the squat, I really feel like there's just something blocking me at the bottom of the squat in my ankles, which is, you know, just like knock-on affecting the rest of the sets and workout. But I am still feeling strong, and some of the unracks actually felt quite nice this week, so we're moving forward. Next week, is a bit different so it's a top set of 110 so that doesn't mean i need to do multiple sets of 105 or anything it just means that i need to hit that one set of 110 hopefully if i can hit that i'll do more than one and we'll see how that plays out and i also did a pr on my back extension like i did last week um so i did 60 kg for three reps on the back extension you'll see that coming up that was uh felt quite heavy but it still felt really good obviously just the setting up for it is really awkward just because i'm using dumbbells there's no other way to really load any plates or anything to use now i could use a place of a handle but then i have to like balance them now so i think this is the only way to do this or I could use a chain and wrap it through plates. But it's just a very awkward thing to try to do. You know, I'd like a bit or back extension like Pete Rubis uses, which I could load up with a bar. But obviously, I'm in a commercial gym. and It's not possible to get all the equipment you want. So I just have to work with what I got. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole Trump situation. And I also like uh, your input on my own program I've wrote. I wrote the whole program on my community post. So if you want to give me feedback on that, just go watch it or go look at that community post. And here we have my back extensions to end my workout workout off. Obviously, one hand that use straps, get the hands both under, weight resting on top. My forearms are obviously stabilizing the weights. So peace out and I'll see you in the next one.